got into prints and multiples. I think prints and multiples sort of found me. I always wanted to work with art. And when I was in graduate school, I had the opportunity to work specifically with the art department. And that's how I just sort of fell into my love for prints. I didn't even know really what I was getting into. And I just sort of fell in love with it. It became this opportunity to work with something that was so tangible and accessible and was so, but was also still so um, exquisite, so technical, and still so representative of a modern artist. So prints and multiples range anywhere from old master prints like Durer and Rembrandt, all the way up to early American prints, which are your Thomas Hart Bentons, all the way up until modern contemporary prints, which are your contemporary art working artists like Cause, Murakami, Jeff Koons. My goal is, is to actually to grow our print department, is to work more closely with galleries, publishers, presses, and art dealers. Prints that people are regularly going to be able to see on our website, have access to, bid on, to expand their own collections. We're different from a lot of other auction houses just because of inclusivity. We have that half a million dollar Lichtenstein, but we also have $500 Chagall's, Picasso's, other working artists, so there's not this air of, you have to have $20 million or we're not gonna work with you. We want everybody to have a Picasso. We want everybody to have that Keith Haring. We want everybody to have something from that artist that means something to them because that is something a lot of other auction houses can't do for the populace. There's seven billion people in this world and all of them need to have that art that speaks to them. Most of our consigners, they're selling their property and that should be taken seriously. So when you take it seriously and you say, I'm gonna make sure that this gets in front of the right people, that is super important to someone who's selling something that is theirs, that they work hard for, that they paid for, that they took the time maybe to exhibit in their house. And Heritage has a global audience. If you're selling something yourself, there's no guarantee or nuance that you're going to get it in front of the right person who's going to love it as much as you do. And I think that Heritage has such a passionate clientele and passionate collectors that I know that that art is going to sell to the right person, the person who wants it most and the person who's gonna care about it. And when I tell our clients that, it's an easy decision because they know that not only are we gonna take care of their art, but the person who buys it is going to take care of it as well.